A possible case of illegal dumping in the middle of the street made one neighbor very upset, and he ended up chasing the person responsible on Detroit's east side. With no luck and a big mess on his hand, he called us for help. With Tara Edwards tells us what no happened luck after he reached and a big mess on his news. hand. We first introduced you to Jeff Brown during 7 Action News at 5. Most regular name. He witnessed a man boldly dumping large chunks of wood from a flatbed. Oh my. Along Kels on Detroit's East Side Tuesday in broad daylight. Look at all these trees. Brown says when he confronted the guy, the man took off. Brown tells us he jumped into action, got into his car, and tracked down the truck. He got I mean, a license dude, the plate. worst fucking John Wick. The worst equalizer number and called police, but the mess remained on the street and no one had been caught. Taking action for Brown, we did some digging and found Ihor Stikevich, a Warren resident. Ihor Stikevich? Are you fucking shitting me? Ihor Stikevich? I wish I knew about that name before my kids were born. I would have named him fucking Ihor Stalia. What is it? The driveway. Ihor. Wood Ihor his yard. What? Stakevich claims he hit a curb and the debris accidentally fell out. It's a little illegal to leave the wood in the street, so what I'm asking is... I'm going... I mean, you don't have to ask me, and I don't take no orders from no woman, by the way. Ah! <laughs> E-horse? Hey, by the way, I, I don't... She goes, I... That was great. She goes, I... It's a little illegal to leave the wood in the street, so what I'm asking is... I'm going... The, I'm the here... worst... Sunglasses known to man, dude. Arnett's, you know? Arnais or whatever. You don't have to ask me, and I don't take no orders from no woman, by the way. By the way, I don't take no orders from no women. Stakevich says he was planning to go back and clean up the wood, but only had one dollar. But then a woman asked him to, so he's leaving it there. Worth of gas. So you were saying that you were going back to clean up well, the wood. E-horse Stakevich, dude! Yes. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm Mr. Cleanup. I'm not Mr. Clean. I'm Mr. Clean Up. Somebody uh, fucking vaudeville. <laughs> I mean, went on the tiptoes to say that that last part. I'm Mr. Clean Up. But he said and that I live in Warren, and I'm cleaning up Detroit. Go figure that one out. But somebody said that they tried to yell at you to come back, and you kept going. And it then... must have been a woman, and I don't listen to women yelling. I tell them to shut up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the dude. Sadeeper! His wife left him eight months ago. Well, he was quite offensive with his answers. Tukevich maintains the biggest he truck, just wants dude, to help his... people remove chunks of wood I mean, just from so their many logs on his front lawn. Property. I lift them all by myself with nobody else's help. Old guys, disabled guys, black guys, white guys, Polish guys, Ukrainian guys, and Guys from Mars also. Aliens? Guys from Mars also. Oh, okay. Oh. Mar uh, her. Oh, 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 okay. All right. okay. From, from Mars? From Mars. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Mars. And police you know? are investigating what exactly happened out here and whether Sakevich is responsible or whether he'll face... Dude, his, his, his wife said, I'm leaving you. And they got in a huge fight. And she's like, oh, get out. She's like, you're so fucking crazy. It's like you're from Mars. And like, nah, he can't get all over it. Any charges on Detroit's east side, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Claims he hit a curb and the debris accidentally so fell good. out. It's a little illegal to right leave here. the wood in the street. So what I'm asking is, I'm going. I mean, you don't have to ask me, and I don't take no orders from no woman. By the way, by the way, I don't take no orders from no women. Together, so many negatives. He was planning to go back and clean. He okay, said that I live in Warren and I'm cleaning up Detroit. Go figure that one out. But somebody said that they tried to yell at you to come back and you kept going. And it then... must have been a woman, and I don't listen to women yelling. I tell them to shut up. Well, he was. The most fucking maladjusted man in the history of, of, of humans, you know? It was no woman that was no saying no. Nobody tells me no what to do. No woman. Go figure that one out. 